Hello kids, welcome back to EVS online class. In this class, we are going to revise for MOY, means mid of the year examination. We are going to revise for MOY and we are going to revise all the four units, unit 1, unit 2, unit 3 and unit 4. So before we start in the class, take out your uh, EVS workbook, reader, pencil, eraser with you. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. So, children, uh, first worksheet one. What define organ? So, you have to tell what is organ. The fa body parts which perform a specific function in our body is called organ. So, you all know the body parts which perform a specific function in our body is called organ. Example. Heart, lungs, brain, stomach, these are organs. Next question is define an organ system. State two examples of organ system in our body. So, a group of organs working together to perform a series of uh, function in our body is called organ system. A group of organs working together to perform a series of function in our body is called organ system. Examples of organ system are digestive system, circulatory system and question number three, differentiate between organ and organ system. So, uh, what is organ? Just now I told you the body parts which perform a specific function is called an organ. Example, heart, lungs, stomach. Organ system, a group of organs working together to perform a series of function in our body is called organ system. Example, digestive system, circulatory system. Now, what should you do? What does the digestive system do? What does the digestive system do? Digestive system helps convert food that we eat into nutrients that our body uses and remove waste from our body. So, what does the digestive system do? Digestive systems helps convert food that we eat into nutrients that our body uses and removes waste material from our body. Now, why is digestive system needed? You all know this is the digestive system of our body. See this? This is the right digestive system. Your mouth is there, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine. And this is anus. So, this forms the digestive system. The main function of this digestive system is to digest the food. Now, the question is there, why is the digestive system needed? The digestive system is needed because food is essential for our body to grow. Food provides us with energy to work and play, but the food that we eat is unusable directly or not usable directly by our body. It needs to be broken down into nutrients, which is done by the digestive system. Next is, mention the parts of the digestive system. What are the parts of the digestive system? That is, mouth, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine, anus. These are the parts of the digestive system which we have to write over here in question number 3. Now, worksheet 3. Uh, label the parts of the digestive system. You all know uh, to label the parts of the digestive system. This is the digestive system. You label all the parts. This is mouth. This is small intestine. This is anus. From this side, it is esophagus. This is stomach. And this is uh, large intestine. So, you have to write over the over this uh, boxes. Next, now uh, I'll ask you one question. What will happen if the digestive system fails to absorb nutrients? What will happen? When the digestive system fails to absorb nutrients, then our body will not get vitamins, minerals, proteins, car carbohydrates, and our body is going to become weak. So, what will happen if our digestive system uh, fails to work? When our digestive system fails to work, that then our body is will be not able to get necess 
every nutrients like vitamins, minerals, carbohydrates, proteins, and our body is going to become weak and it becomes malnourished. Okay. Now, now open worksheet five. Question number one: What does the stomach do in the digestion of food? So, our stomach, what does it do? In the digestion of food, food passing down from the esophagus to the stomach is further broken down and mixed with digestive juices in the stomach. Now clean the blanks. Uh, first one A dash is a hollow tube connecting the mouth to the stomach. That is esophagus. Next food is further broken down and mixed with the with digestive juice in the stomach. C the small intestine is long dash tube. This kind of thing. Absorption of nutrients from food takes place in the intestine. Food passes through the esophagus to enter the stomach. Now question number three. The small intestine plays an important role in digestion. Why? So what does the role played by a small intestine? And why it is important here to tell? Small intestine plays an important role in digestion because food is finally broken down here. So finally the food is broken down in the small intestine. All the essential nutrients from the food are absorbed in the blood. That uh, uh, whatever nutrients are there in the food, they are going to absorb in the blood to be sent to all parts of the body. So this much clear. Now, um, you know, digestion. After the digestion of the food, that uh, nutrients has to transport to all parts of the body. So here, the role of blood will come. So we will discuss about circulatory system. Now open worksheet 9. After I told, after digestion, the food has to, that nutrients has to carry to different parts of the body. Here comes the role of uh, circulatory system, this circulatory system, the blood of the circulatory system carries the nutrients to all parts of our body. So after the digestion of the food, the nutrients that uh, we get from the food is transferred to all parts of the body by the organ system called the circulatory system. Now there are three main parts of the circulatory system that is blood, blood vessels and heart. Now uh, worksheet 9. Question number one. What does blood do? What does blood do? The blood in our body carries nutrients and oxygen and protect our body against diseases. So what does the blood do? It, the blood in our body carries nutrients and oxygen and protects our body against infection and diseases. Now match the colors. Plasma. It is a fluid, sticky, uh, fluid slightly sticky and yellow in color. It consi consists of water and various nutrients. Red blood, blood cells, red blood cells are there in our blood. So these are red in color and is responsible for transfer of oxygen. White blood cells, uh, they defend the body against infection and disease. Platelets, these, these are tiny blood vessels blood cells that help your body from uh, body from floats to stop bleeding. Now, uh, true and false. Human blood is yellow in color. It is false. Our blood is red in color. Red blood cells are round in shape. True. White blood cells are red in color due to presence of hemoglobin. It is false. We have 5 liters of blood in our body. That is true. Platelets help our body stop bleeding. It is true. Red blood cells defend the body against disease. It is false. White blood cells actually defend our body against disease. Now see the structure of the heart. Can you see the structure of the heart? Heart is the main organ of the circulatory system. It is this heart. From here, the blood is pumped to all parts of the body. This is the heart. So, what are the different parts of the heart? 
this this side is called left atrium and down it is left ventricle left atrium left ventricle and this side right atrium and right atrium so these are the four chambers of the heart heart is look like this and when you see this heart if you cut open it is like this your chambers are there you know four chambers are there in our heart see children this is the structure of the heart so if there are four chambers one two three four two are at the top and two are at the down so this uh, this chamber is known as left atrium left atrium this chamber is known as left ventricle left ventricle and this is right atrium and this is called uh, this is right atrium and this is right ventricle ventricle so this is heart and it is the main organ of the circulatory system it pumps blood to all parts of the body so children for today this much only i will read nicely for moi exam thank you